The owner of the food shop was back at work Tuesday, though not talking to us about the harrowing incident he faced Monday night. But a few of the store's customers were talking about the shooting, and they say the owner simply did what he had to do. Someone was trying to rob him, and he had to take care of his own self and his uh, own security, and I think he did the right thing. He's a, he's a real nice guy. You know, known him for a while, and that's the last thing I know he wanted to do. But it was either him or the other guy. Deputy Solicitor Jimmy Richardson says all the evidence in the case matched the store owner's description of what happened, making it obvious he was within his rights to shoot deeds. When the facts do bear out, um, the people see just how um, easy this one was to, to determine that the guy was in fact justified. The store owner does have a concealed weapons permit, but Richardson says store owners are allowed an exception under the law to protect themselves going to and from work. So even if the store owner in this case did not have a gun permit, he still would have been within the law to shoot. So the use of a weapon turned out all right for this store owner. But Richardson, who has a concealed weapons permit himself, says people shouldn't assume that everyone who pulls a gun in self-defense would be as fortunate. If a person is really set out to harm you, um, you know, keep that in mind too. Simply being armed ain't going to do you a lot of good when someone's got the drop on you.